Okay, so Mongols, they were the exception to everything, and while they were jerks and, like, uh, like obliterated people, they only obliterated people that didn't join them, and their empire was probably one of the safest of its time. It was also was incredibly religiously tolerant, like, seriously. Since their religion was based off of, like, the area they came from, they didn't force others to convert to their religion, since they were like, oh, I've been watching too much that John Green so, uh, yes, Crash Course. Bro, I love Crash Course. When, Thank you, Wiki. When only your country is... Uh, when you're only outdone in death toll by Adolf Hitler, there's something wrong with you, okay? Or yeah. that and I mean, Stalin like, and or it's Mao not, it's or... Well, it's because they did horrible things, but account. what was it for? They created All a great empire that stood for quite a while. On him, so. True, but starving 20 million of your own people to death... That's just not yeah. right. That's, yeah, 20 million not. is a bit of an overestimate, but yes, still pretty bad. In Ukraine, yeah, that's what he did. Not 20 million. Uh, good times. Was it 20 like, million? Uh, it, it, was, it, was it was 8 million. 8 million? I thought it was 20 million overall, million anyway. In U 8 million in the Ukraine, but probably 20 million all around. But Jeez. he specifically starved Ukraine because they had an uprising to not send all their grain just to the rest of Russia, and then he just said, all right, we're going to take all your grain and just let you just starve. <laughs> Lol, nope. G -G See how it worked out for you? And then, like, Mao murdered 60 million plus people before I they stopped the counting. I the body of Mao. It was awesome. Because you were deposited to a gift shop. You what? Ser Seriously, in China, and I think it's Tiananmen Square, they have the stuffed body of uh, Chairman Mao. Yeah, they have the body of Lenin still on display. Yeah, yeah, I saw that too. Oh, that's great. I'm going on like I my see that old crusty bastard. Oh, it's it's like it's such a great mood change because in the Chinese one, it's kind of like it's kind of somber, but then you go directly into a gift shop. But then in Lenin's, it's like all it's like a really big tomb, and it's really dark and uncomfortable. Mausoleum. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh man, it's really interesting. I want to go in the trifecta and go to like Vietnam next and see their stuff, dictator. Oh, then go home. So you're just How going on a stuffed a dictator uh, tour? <laughs> yes. Visitor, yes, will you I stop am. interjecting? No. We're talking Wait, about dictators. Visitor, did you finally decide to join us here? Yeah, I finally decided Hi, to guys. grace you with where's, my presence. Where's Tim? He's long gone to bed. Okay, I invited him here too, but whatever. But Tim, t Tim hates you, Tim. I'm sorry to say this. You just said Tim hates you, Tim. <laughs> that you did. Caught you red-handed. I told you, Nick. Was, you and Tim are I interchangeable. I hoped you would notice that. I really was hoping you would notice that. Too bad. All right, I, I did it. I seized uh, Somalia or the rest of it. Well, thanks you. I'm gonna feel bad for like the rest of the night now. It's like a, it's like a small spot no, to won't. the Brits, small spot yeah, no, to the French, and a little bit of Ethiopia here. Why would you want Ethiopia? What's in Ethiopia? Oh, gee whiz! Pain and suffering, from what I hear. I, I wonder. Think Ethiopians. I would assume. Because sure I want it. The name of a car. I mean, it's all about the money. That's money, legitimate. Money. You would have we to ask money, the real money, Italians money. why they wanted Did Ethiopia. You hear, um, about uh, the, uh, still have no clue. Uh, Paraguayan dictator named Lopez, <laughs> who George uh, Lopez, went, who went to war against Argentina. Brazil and Uruguay because he wanted to be able to tell Uruguay what to do and whatever that just went out of control. It is the most costly war South America has ever experienced with like 400,000 deaths. And the reason why is because he, his army got obliterated after a while and so he started sending children with sticks painted as guns to the front line and they My got God. massacred. Yep. What a jerk. <laughs> That's dictatorship for you. Mm. you to win South American battle. style. Some, something I've always been curious about is what if, like, Caesar had actually become, like, a dictator? Hmm. You mean he didn't? If he had been assassinated, is what I'm talking about. His rule had been more oh, than, like, okay. a few days. Uh, okay, I see what you mean. Still, he was already kind of a military dictator. 
He kind of was, but he was also really good to his people. He knew how to he knew how to work same thing. Shut up, Bizzer, we know that. Maybe we'd have more Caesar ranch dressing. Can we kick enhance for that, please? I mean, that's this doesn't seem too far fetched. I liked it. That one. I liked it. That was good. Shut up. It hurt. You're the one who named the raid call room leaguing around. <laughs> That's after Tim. Tim made it first. I just followed along. You have no room to speak. On the contrary, I, like I have Papa a leaking Doc, around yeah. room to speak. Papa then Doc, go there he, and speak. I don't want to because there's people there. Right now. Crazy dictator. He believed in voodoo so much that he thought one of his political opponents turned into a black dog, so he had all the black dogs murdered in Haiti. Are you serious? Yeah, I believe he fantastic. also banned a lot of hospitals in favor of his witch doctoring heritage. Probably. <laughs> I'm glad these people were so crazy now we can look back at them and go, why did these nut jobs get into power? Because people are because stupid. They... Exactly. Because exactly. When it, they spoke to the populism of people who were disenfranchised, and they took power, and then they realized, oh shit, this guy is awful. But the thing is, like, Caesar did the same thing, but he seemed actually pretty well together. As far as we know. <laughs> he as didn't far do as the we same know, I mean, as... He didn't murder all black dogs, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he seemed reasonably well together. There are reasonable I mean, I don't think that's... dictators who understand how to maintain their power and they are cruel as shit, but they're efficient and they're not crazy, then they're just crazy dictators just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want, God. Because I, I am the dictator. He's like, like, let's be honest here, this isn't gonna last long, but it's gonna make it count. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's Turkestan or um, Uzbekistan, it's one of the stands above Afghanistan. <laughs> and... He, the country is 75 or 80 percent arid desert, and he had an ice palace built there. That's nice. Woo! Good <laughs> job. It's like, haha, you get to sleep on sand, I get this ice castle. Uh, sir, it's gonna melt in the morning. Suck it, noob. So. <laughs> Suck it, noob. <laughs> I just have rebuilt no, tomorrow. No, you guys want to hear something interesting? Um, there's this competition that goes on, like, across the nation. Uh, and I was a part of it for my school. It's called uh, Air, a model Arab league, and uh, what you do is you represent different uh, nations within the Arab league, basically, and you try to pass resolutions and get allies and stuff like that. But uh, it was a two-day event. First day, uh, rather uneventful in comparison to like world events. The next day, Yemen's government collapsed. <laughs> So the representatives, the poor representatives from Yemen, when they had to like go up and say, "Oh, president voting," they had to go. The uh, the rebel government of Yemen is present. <laughs> <laughs> they were very good sports about it. I just just love that. I, I turned around to them and they're like, "Wow, you guys, you guys really nailed down the head." <laughs> and everybody around them just kind of points and laughs until like that revolution spreads to them. Yeah, no, like, uh, what was it? And then um. And then uh, one of the guys who me and my teammate, we were like, we hated, was like, we would like to, uh, who, which king died? It was King... Uh, Saudi, Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Oh yeah, Saudi Arabia. We would like to have a one minute silence for the king of Saudi Arabia, and our council guy was just like, yeah, I'm going to rule that dilatory. Let's not. <laughs> uh, man, I have a lot of fun with that. He's just like, nope. No, it was um, it was a jolly good time because we became such of a threat to the um, to the opposition that uh, they tried to they literally had a plan in the works to get our speaking rights revoked. Just plan and an that, assassination. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, they were, obviously. They were approached the chair and tried to get our speaking rights revoked. It was glorious. We were so happy for it. Yeah, politics is actually a lot of fun. It's really oh really yeah, exciting. I understand, but this is not the place to be talking about it. No, not like politics. Comments. Politics, like oh, is this this? But no, like messing around in like mock senates and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, currently have a project <laughs> that working on with a bunch of people, uh, trying to figure out a international business plan for Japan. During the Renaissance period. During the Renaissance, weren't they still like really like isolated? 
for like a long time? Sort of. Uh, they were less isolated than what people think. Um, but they still, culturally, they were very, very picky about what they brought in. Uh, they've been that way, they, well, they were that way up until the end of World War II, and even then there's still a lot of, yeah, don't accept other stuff. But yeah, we're cool. Although Japan just... is a really interesting place. Like, a lot of racism there, there, though. There. Hmm? Is it's there? It, the, oh yeah. All the Asian, all the Asian Asiatic people think they're better than the other Asiatic people. Yeah. They're all better than other peoples. The Japanese are the Germans of Asia. They think they're better than all the other Asians. Yeah, basically. I mean, aren't they the most technologically advanced though? I mean, they have the less pollution problems. Their population is fairly incredible for the amount of land they have. Also, they live a lot longer than anyone else in the area. Was that a compliment for them breeding like rabbits? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, well, it's impressive that they've met and they managed to get that many people in such an organized society on like such a small amount of land. And their population is declining really, really fast now. So they're having a lot of problems, is what I'm saying. Yeah, there's always downturns. There'll be upturns. Yeah. Like, Russia's population has been falling since the late 90s. It's still falling. And that's why they have so many anti-gay policies, but, uh... I don't like Russia policies, at the moment because of all their crap anti, they're putting people through. Anti-adoption policies, anti-gay policies, and their economy's in the toilet. But, don't prick. worry, guys. Putin has ordered the creation of 90 more ICBMs. He knows what he's doing. Putin. Yeah, uh, like they're he's going to attack uh, the rest of Europe. I can tell you already. Doesn't take a fortune teller to tell you that. Uh, I I think he's a loud, obnoxious asshole, but I don't think he's that stupid. He's like he's like moderate Kim Jong Il. He is a complete moron. So yes, I do believe he's going to do that. I like Visitors comes in. He's a moron. Fuck it. <laughs> he is. He's a straight up moron. Who here saw He's the interview and asshole. who liked the interview? My brother's watching it right it. now. The interview is pretty it. bad. I don't know. It kind of depends. Like, I enjoyed it, but I know a lot of other people didn't enjoy it. It kind of just I'd depends on your style. I'd watch just to watch humor. the fat man child get blown up. You know oh, what? Oh, yeah. That scene is awesome. Kim Jong Moon <laughs> is actually a pretty great guy because he got it half price for us and technically free if you have Netflix, so. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Kim Jong. <laughs> it's funny y'all talking no, about that. Like, Kim Jong. Like, posters. <laughs> no, the theater gave us posters. <laughs> we haven't got any, any need for these anymore. You want them? Yeah, no, like they said, oh, they like, they were like, uh, oh, you guys are really lucky, actually, because we were supposed to give these posters out to the first hundred people with tickets, but we didn't get them in until today, so you guys get them. And he, they gave us, like, three posters, like, and we're going to frame them up on our wall. <laughs> Who's the fate of your enemy? No, you know what we're going to frame them next to? A, a, like, a um, Chairman Mao era propaganda poster that we got on our trip to China. That's nice. <laughs> It's a great poster too. It's like him leading his train. I'm um, leading a train forth while it crushes all the capitalists. And the Great Leap backwards. Oh what? my God! It's it's a fantastic poster, really. I like Mao because he's an ugly man child. But according to my sources, he's also a trapped monkey god in human form. Oh really? Of course. What Don't you know? Sources say. Sources, man. Yeah, that's Nick, you know. That. I've I've read those sources myself. I'm telling you, man, he it's all a, part of the big globe conspiracy. He is a trapped monkey god who will bring divine uh, punishment upon all capitalists for the good of the working class. But Lenin is still better. Just remember that. Yeah, <laughs> Lenin is always I mean, better his... because he started the look. Out of the comparison to the two tombs, I gotta give this one to Lenin for just artistic qualities. I'm sorry, this mausoleum was much darker, much more solemn. Isn't it it has to go to Lenin. I'm, like, pretty, sure, super actually, capitalism. I'm like, pretty sure Lenin Mal actually just wanted to be buried in a like simple grave, but then when Stalin took over, he's just like, fuck that noise, I'm gonna give him this giant mausoleum. Because, like, so, I like, killed him, so, you know... <laughs> I kinda got it. It's not confirmed. 
Of course, of like, course. Like, you never confirmed. Great. The best thing about Chairman Mao's, like, freaking tomb is that he was super against capitalism, but it leads you into a gift shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Irony, please. Please arrest this nation. <laughs> Chinese don't give a fuck. They're, they're not communist. They're a neo-fascistic society. Who gives a damn? They're oh, state they're too capitalists. Many Even be capitalists so long as it benefits the state. Oh, man, why can't Japan, um, Japan have like samurai anymore? Because, because they're a non-violent society. Supposedly. Even That's though they just crap. revoked that part in their constitution. <laughs> have a military now. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh yeah, they they no, they amended that part the war act of their constitution stating that if a Japanese person anywhere in the world is under threat, they have the right to commit military action to save that person or interest, basically <laughs> meaning we can go to war. Yeah, that seems like a really roundabout way to say, hey, we can go to war again. Sounds super and legit. Actually, we we actually approved of it <laughs> quite vehemently over here in the US, so I actually don't mind it, because it's well, not like we're it. gonna do it. I mean, just look at Ukraine, we promised to protect them, because uh, we forced them to give up their uh, weapon deterrence, uh, so, why yeah. The, why is it, like, that the U.S. is so against, like, like, so, like, for, oh, we got it, we're gonna help you out with your defense, but then doesn't? Uh, because eight years and the, uh, administration changes. That's the whole thing. Because our Congress is full of lazy, <laughs> ignorant assholes. No, Congress has done nothing. You know, like, I, uh, you guys should check out last week's night because it's really great. But, um, he, he did a thing on state legislature. Well, I think Congress has passed, like, literally, like, 17 bills. State legislatures have passed, like, literally 24,000. I just yeah, think, in general, we just need a new government. Then again, is more legislation a good thing? But let's like, not no, get into that. Yeah. That's because that's because of all the crap that's being passed in state legislations. Like, state guys, are, the state legislatures are crazy. They are insane. Like, did you guys see the video clip of the guy who was talking about like do stuff with his girlfriend into a live mic while on like the on like <laughs> while in his seat? It was beautiful, beautiful. I don't even just... want to know what the hell. Yeah, me too. Like, it's illegal to walk backwards come while on, eating a cheeseburger on, in come Oklahoma. On. Let's just keep it R here, okay? <laughs> this is a oh let's God. play here. Yeah. That's so that, stupid. No. I, that, in I'm Kansas, with, crazy, like, I'm with the Greyhound, state not dog. State legislatures are kind of nuts, though. <laughs> yeah, no, state legislatures are completely nuts. That, and, like, they've also, like, some insanely, like, racist, homophobic, sexist things have been said, like, on state legislation floors, and no one's like, eh, that just happens. They are crazy assholes. Oh, absolutely. But you know what? I like them a little bit better because they actually get shit done. But some of it's but like is it a good stuff. thing? Is it is That's it a good thing. thing? I'd rather I'd rather nothing be done if it's like a bad thing. Hey, hey, let's just rein it back in. Let's get back to this game which I've been paying no attention to. I have not been paying attention at all. I'm playing That's I'm cool. into watching it. I've been watching, watching it. You can leave. Yeah, I'm watching it. I mean, I like chilling here. It's a lot of fun talking to people. I'm watching Nick. Thanks for a chaotic out. recording. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. great. I just broke the fourth wall. He's going balls to the walls against the Ottomans, wall. which is kind of nice. Oh, my God. I was Nick. Fahrenheit I'm trying. Months. They won't take any peace. Oh, it's ridiculous. I to, I'm reading Fahrenheit oh, 451 for the first time, and there was a great thing in it. It's like, oh, we just got our third wall installed uh, a few months ago. Now you want to get a fourth wall? And I'm like, are you serious? This is great. <laughs> just wipe them out, all of them. No. Wipe them out. Wipe them out. Wipe them out, all of them. Just rush nukes. I find that to be a good strategy. No all of them, sir. I mean, all of them. You want Even some of the to be especially your mother. Rush nukes. Rush nukes. Does anyone remember the shit tier voice actor for Sidious in Battlefront 1? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a thing. <laughs> kind of voice actor for Battlefront 1. Look, we we don't play Battlefront 1 for its voice oh, acting. Oh, yeah. I remember that. You're the reboots on Nebu. And then something, something, something. I don't give a shit what the fuck you're saying. Dude, and the loading something, screen something, something Battlefront dark side. 1 is so weird. 
Like you just see zooming in. I was like, oh, we're gonna launch a missile at people. Nope, it's just loading screen. Oh. Battlefront one's a really Man. good game. I have it for the original Xbox. I need to play that some. I actually liked it because you is the worst garbage ever. What? Battlefront, Battlefront it's one is such a where there's just Darth Vader like walking around. He's unkillable completely. Oh yeah, the heroes are terrible. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> the heroes in that and, game were then, horrible. The only way you can fuck them over is if you like get one of those horrible little bombardments, and while they're next to like a a cliff, and they'll just knock them off and they die. <laughs> Uh, Bezbin. The best thing to do is just land a starfighter on him. Kills him. I remember I was on Naboo, and I, like, ran over Darth Vader with a speeder bike. <laughs> I have you now. Oh, god damn it. I have you now. What was even funnier? I was over by a speeder bike. Watch where you're going next time, asshole. God damn it, Lord Vader. You suck at your job. You suck, Lord and Vader. I, I was even, I even remembered it now. I was using the cheat code that made them all look l like Ewok sized. Jub Jub. Yeah, that's it. Miniature Vitar. Literally switched all the bone codes out to Ewok bone sets. Yep. Did I like some weird the stuff. One uh, mission where it's the Naboo mission. Where you can play as the droids, and the only reason I liked it was because it was actually just a B1 battle droid. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, you I got just to play all these Gungans. Give me a oh, fucking oh, B1 great. battle guys. droid. I'm tired of playing as B2s walking around clank, guys. clank, clank. clank. You, you know what game I really want to play ding, now that ding, I have a. Uh... You know what game I really want to play now that I have my uh, capture card? 